Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're in the kitchen doing some batch cooking and freezer cooking. So today I am joined by my lovely assistant Ali because we are going to be making some freezer lunches and breakfast for him and we're also going, going to be making some sin-free treats and meals. Today we're not making any sin-free meals or low-sin meals or that because I have ordered these trays, you know the tin foil trays with the lids and that. I've ordered some of them for Amazon and they're not here yet. So we're going to crack on with the little stuff, the stuff that we can get done today and then another day we'll do the freezer meals and all that. But it actually works out better because doing it all on Monday is actually quite a lot to do. So Ali's here today, he's going to help me make his lunches and all that. These are lunches that you do all the prep work and all that, chuck them in the freezer and then he really only has to take them out as and when he wants them. And microwave them. And microwave them, apart from the pizzas. And the breakfast wraps. Because mm. that would just be weird to make people. Well, yeah, but Ali is 12 years old and he can use the cooker for things like chucking something in the oven and I just tell him how long it needs to be in the temperature and he's I can leave him to his own devices. I don't think I'll leave you to do that unsupervised very often. But if I'm at work or not in the house, well, let's face it, I am in the house a lot at the minute. But if I'm not here, Mark is currently with us at the minute while we're on lockdown, so he's here to supervise him with the oven, but he can basically do it all on his own. Anyway, let me show you what we're making. So I've written all what we're making on the meal planner. I don't know why, it's just where I've wrote it. Um, these are the ones that I want to make today, and these are the ones that I'm going to have to wait till my trays come, or I get the ingredients, because I've not got the ingredients for this yet. So the pizza bagels, the breakfast bagels and the breakfast burritos, they're all for Ali. Mark can have them too if he wants, but they're mostly for like Ali's lunches. Breakfast, they'll probably have some for breakfast too. It does say breakfast things. Oh, cats. Um, sin free hash browns, I'm going to make some of them today. I do already have a video up about them, so I won't show you too much about that. I will just link the video up above. Broccoli and still in soup. It's not still in, it's the lighter than light blue cheese triangles. Beef and couscous patties. Um, I was going to make them today, but I'm actually not going to because the beef, the mince, I need, it's the same mince that I'm using for the taco casserole, so I don't want to defrost it today. I'll just make these at the same time as I make the rest of this. So that's what we're doing today. Let me go and let this cat out. Why do you feel so tall on this camera? Because you are quite tall. So enough chat and let's get on with this because we've got quite a lot to get done. We're going to start with, well I'm going to start layering out the bacon and if you want to open them and open the bagels and layer them out because we've got to get toasted. You can just do the bagels, well wait I've got to get a knife for this. You can just um, put all the toppings on the bagels without toasting them but it kind of makes it go a bit soggy. So we're going to toast it for five minutes first. Also, um, we don't normally make pizza bagels. We usually make pizza muffins. Well, we've not made them since, what, November? Before Christmas it was. Mm -hmm. We usually make pizza muffins, but they didn't, I don't know what's going on. They didn't have any in Tesco or Asda when I was there last week. So I just decided to make pizza bagels. Um, I'm just going to oven bake this bacon. Just twist it because there's a whole packet that I need to cook for the uh, breakfast burritos. Ellie, you're going to have to put a couple of them on that tray because they're not all going to get toasted. Actually, do you know what? Just leave that. Is it for the oven? It's for the yeah, oven. Don't put it in the oven. Yeah. Um, we'll put them in the like, no, the... Yeah, I'm just doing the bacon on an oven sheet because I'm not standing at a frying pan frying all this off for the next half an hour or something. It's just so much easier and quicker to do it in the um, oven. And also I'm twisting it just so it all fits on the one tray. And it'll, it'll all cook fine. It'll all cook fine. It's just, you know, life hack, isn't it? Actually, <laughs> it's, I'm probably not needing to do all that. Originally I was going to do two full packets of bacon, but we're only doing six pizza bagels, eh, sorry, six breakfast bagels, so we don't need to. 
do all that. We don't need to do two whole packets, we just need one packet because there's 14 slices in each packet. I reckon two slices per bagel. Go and never come back. No, you're not coming back in, you just won't. <laughs> Bye. Guys, you know if you watch my channel, we're constantly getting meowed at to let the cats out or feed them or whatever, so you will hear all that going on in the background because literally every two minutes they're yelling at us to get out or in or whatever. And then I'm going to pop the pizza bagels on top. They'll only take five minutes. And the bacon probably wouldn't take more than 10 minutes, but Ali likes his bacon really crispy, so we're going to do it for a bit longer. So I'll put the timer on for five minutes because I get easily distracted. So while they're in the oven, I'm going to get Ali to prep some more stuff for the pizza bagels. I made this up two days ago and I've just left it in the fridge. Um, it's just some pizza sauce made with passata, herbs and spices. Well, many spices? No, just herbs and salt and pepper and that. Um, but you can just buy that out of tin if you don't want to make your own pizza sauce. And we're also just going basic with pepperoni and mozzarella. I'm going to get Ali to cut the mozzarella in half. You can just cut them in half. Just make a wee pile on the board and cut them up as thin as you can get them, the mozzarella balls. I think we only need two, there's only six. Well, there'll be 12 halves of pizza. Mm. If we need any more, there's still more in the fridge. So do you want to bash on with that? And I'm actually going to go and start making some scrambled egg for the breakfast burritos and the breakfast muffins. Right, bash on. So will I date every one of them? Every one of them, I. Like, I'll put them on the chopping board back and using my biggest Tupperware dish that I've got to make the scrambled eggs because if any of you know you know about the whole jug gate issue that I have um, I'm still waiting on Mark replacing that large jug my largest jug that he put some oil or crap from his car in and I think I'm going to use 12 eggs because wait we've got eight breakfast burritos and six breakfast muffins oh so maybe 14 eggs I don't know if that'll be too much. Actually, do you know what? I'm just going to do 10 eggs. And yeah, I'll do 10 eggs and see how we go with that. If I do need to make more, I need to make more, but I don't want to have too, too much egg. We're going to have a lot of pepperoni I know. I wonder how many of these eggs I can actually crack without getting shell in there. I'm not going to, I'll take it out if I get any shelling, don't worry. Oh no, I've got a bit of shell. Our bagels are toasted. They're not actually toast toasted, like they're not brown or anything, they're just like crispy on top. It's just so when we put the sauce and all that on, it doesn't go too soggy. So what Ali is gonna do now, he's gonna assemble, assemble the pizzas. And now 
We don't stand on ceremony. We've not got no fancy utensils. We've just got spoons and, and hands. <laughs> and hands. So all Ellie's going to do is put a wee spoonful round the bagel. This It's so much easier with the English muffins because on the bagels we've got holes to contend with. But don't worry about making a mess. Just get a good, a good splattering of tomato sauce. sauce. And now, this is entirely at your discretion. You can either put the cheese on next and then the pepperoni or you can put the pepperoni then the cheese. What would you prefer? I don't know. Pepperoni. No, cheese then pepperoni. Cheese then pepperoni. So you just want a few bits. Pepperoni then cheese is just weird. A few bits of cheese. You don't need too much actually. Maybe about <coughs> four bits of cheese because that all spreads out in that. And then a couple of bits of pepperoni. And then done. You can manage that. Easy. Easy. Right, on you go, son. You've got to get your chair. He's got to get his chair. He likes to sit and assemble his pizza bagels. While he's doing that, I'm just getting all the breakfast stuff cooked and ready. So I'll just leave you with Ali for a little Wait, while. Can I have a breakfast up and I'll put breakfast on. Mm. Of course. <laughs> Pizzas on a shelf in the freezer um, so that they're easier to package away. Is that right? Is that what I'm trying to say? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm going to do with these ones. So while Ali's been making the pizza bagels, I've been prepping all the stuff for the breakfast burritos and the breakfast bagels. I have toasted the other bagels for the breakfast ones. I've made the scrambled egg. I don't know how you like your scrambled egg, but we like ours overcooked. <laughs> So I've done that. I've also done some hash browns for the burritos. These are not the Slimming World ones. These are just the frozen ones I bought from Tesco or Asda and baked them. Some cheese slices to go on them. Cooked sausages. I've halved all them so hopefully they're easier to put on. And the bacon. And I think, well, Ali just mentioned that they really should have tatty scones on them. But we did use the tatty scones for his for your dinner one night because you wanted tatty scones with his dinner and your breakfast the next day so no tatty scones but he does have hash browns so I'm winning mum points on that. So we're now going to make the breakfast burritos it's a two-man job for this because you know wrapping the burritos and that can be a little bit fiddly so I am going to help Ali. On the burritos we're going to put scrambled egg, some scrambled egg a hash brown, or two hash browns actually, two halves of the sausage, so one full sausage and some cheese. Oh, ketchup! Is this, this is a new one, isn't it? Yep. That's one. It is. It's so good. I know, I opened it. Oh. Right, so, squirt a ketchup, right? 
and then you don't need too much egg just some scrambled you put the egg first aye that's what you put on last one was it some scrambled egg two hash browns Amazing hash browns two sausages we'll do them that way we made them leave gaps at other either side alley so we can wrap them oh oh i've got sauce all over my fingers cheese cheese too do you think we should just have these actually aye have these there you go right and then we're gonna and then when you've assembled it oh god they're stuck together right when you've assembled it pass it to me and i will wrap because you're an absolute god at wrapping i am not i hate wrap this god. i hate wrapping these wait one second wrap god for w one breakfast burrito and we're wrapping the breakfast burritos in tin foil just because it's so much easier to keep them and it looks more professional yeah and then when Ali wants one of these he can well it's not meant to look professional it's just for you pal uh -huh. <laughs> it still looks it looks good and it keeps them in in their shape but when he wants one of these he can Ideally, take it out the freezer in the morning if he wants to have it for lunchtime or the night before if he wants to have it for breakfast in the morning. Just let it defrost a wee bit. But everything is cooked in here and he can just whack that in the oven at like 180, 200 for 10 minutes or something just to make sure everything's cooked. And that'll be amazing. But he could also cook it because everything's cooked. He can just uh, defrost it take the tin foil off and put it in the microwave in a kitchen towel for like two minutes uh -huh. but then you like your wraps all nice and crispy and all that don't you but everything is cooked so you could just whack it in the microwave if you don't really want to spend the time waiting for the oven to heat up or whatever that's a bit much ketchup well i just went like that and threw a line with it <laughs> you wipe it come on, come on. No, it doesn't matter. Just let's get our production line going, son. Let's get it going. I'm in charge of cheese. Eight breakfast burritos are done and now I've got some sticky labels and I'm going to get Ali to write on them breakfast burritos because at another point I'm going to make bean and beef burritos so it's just to make sure because I don't want to be grabbing a breakfast burrito that is not Slim and World when the bean and beef ones will be on Slim and World so it's just to know what's in the freezer.
What? I was literally about to say, while Ali's assembling his breakfast bagels, I'm going to crack on with my broccoli still in soup, but he's actually just finished. So, while he's just finished and, you know, hanging out, I am going to crack on with my broccoli and still in soup. It's not still in, it's the lighter than light blue cheese triangles that I use for this. I love, love broccoli and still in soup, and this is nothing like it but i like to pretend that it is anyway i've chopped up the heads of two broccoli and i've added a liter and a half of water i think i'm going to need to add a bit more if you can see it's not quite covering the broccoli or that so i'll add a little bit more water i'm going to add three of these maybe another one i'll taste it and see but at the minute i'm just going to add three of these nor stock pots into this. I mean, you can dissolve them beforehand, but I mean, it'll dissolve in that anyway. You can do this however you like. It's not a set recipe. I think I've sort of adapted another recipe from, I think it was cauliflower and cheese soup. Somebody made this with cauliflower and just lighter than light cheese triangles and I thought, oh, it'll be better as broccoli with the blue cheese triangles. Sometimes when I make this, sometimes it depends if I can be bothered cutting up an onion or not. I will start it off with some onion and fry light and then add the broccoli and the water and all that after it. Sorry, Ali's just cleaning up next to me. Look at her pile of dishes here. Um, but we've got other stuff going on today. I'm just making it like it is. I'll add some onion powder for extra flavour. And yeah, so I'm going to add the stock pots and then I'll boil this for about 20 minutes to 30 minutes. And then I'll show you what we do after that. Sorry, I meant to say that I do add some pepper to this. Some of the, it's just the coarse grain black pepper, but use whatever you want to use. And I'm not adding any salt at the minute. I'll taste it once it's mostly ready and see if it needs salt. But the stock pots, they're quite salty anyway, so I tend to not add it and try it later on. Oh, I'm also going to add some onion granules. Wait there. And that's like a teaspoon, right? Okay, that's been cooking for about 20 minutes. I like it to cook till the broccoli is like really soft and really soggy type so it blends better in the food processor. Speaking of which, this is my food processor circa 1960s. One day I will get a new food processor but I just can't justify it when this one does what I need it to do which is blend food. You can use a hand stick blender. That would be so much easier and save on so much more washing up. Then I have, but I don't have one of them. I used to have one when Ali was younger and I blended all his food, but I don't now. All I'm going to do now is blend all this and then put it back in the pot and add the cheese. I'm just adding five of the lighter than light blue cheese triangles because that's all I have. I'm going to see how it tastes once these are all melted in. I do have some more lighter than light ones in the fridge if I need them. These are one and a half cents each. But five is your healthy extra A elements. You obviously just divide it up when you're having them. When you're having the soup. I think this might do at least five portions. So that would either be a fifth of one of your healthy extra A allowances or one and a half sins. I would prefer to measure it in sins because I use most of my healthy extra A for milk. Or all of my healthy extra A for milk. Most days, I just stir them in and let them melt. Also, do you know what I just thought about? And I don't know why this thought has never occurred to me before, but just put the bloody cheese triangles in the food processor when you put it in the soup in there to blend down. That would be so much easier than waiting for it to melt into the soup, right? Honest to God, where is my head sometimes? Okay, I've just gave this a little try, so I've added more salt to it. I've added another stock cube, because I thought I needed one. And I'm going to add another cheese laughing cow light. I think I said lighter than light earlier on. It is the light, just the light ones that I'm using, not the lighter than light ones. Give that a stir, and hopefully this will do six portions now, since I've put six tri cheese triangles in. Don't want to be counting three sins a portion. Also, do you know what? I don't know where I'm going to store all this because I've only got two tubs. Two tubs. 
And six million lids. Like, why? Why is there six million lids in my cupboard and two cupboard and two tubs? I do have my massive tubs, but I don't like freezing that in there because that means that it's taking up so much room in the freezer for a start. And it not always does Ali want to have this soup. I mean, he loves this soup, so probably I could store a couple of portions in there. But it just takes up so much room in the freezer, and my freezer is choking for space at the minute. So. Ugh. So that is the broccoli and still in soup done. I managed to work my way, wankle my way around the container problem. So, and this is one of my big containers. I've actually put two portions in that and I'm going to just let that sit in the fridge. And Ali and I will have that tomorrow for our lunch. Also, this container is, would you believe after seeing all those lids in that cupboard, I don't have a lid for this. The lid for this actually cracked and I threw it away, but the container was still good, so I kept it because you never know when you're going to need it, like now. Um, I'm going to cover this in tin foil and put that in the fridge and I'll have that the following day for lunch and then these three I'm going to pop in the freezer for whenever I want them. Because I won't eat the same thing every single day for my lunch. I'll maybe fancy something different by the third day. But they're great to pop in. And, you know, you should really defrost them. I mean, you're meant to defrost them. But me, most of the time, I take these out of the freezer and just whack them in the microwave frozen. And they still taste as good. So I'm just going to leave these here to chill till they're cooled down. And then I can put them either in the freezer or the fridge, wherever they need to go. And the last thing that I've got to do is... <sighs> The hash browns, these take forever. They're so fiddly and annoying, but they taste so good and I love them, which is why I'm doing a batch of them because I can't be bothered half the time making them when I'm going to have them with like mostly breakfast for dinner, but also sometimes for breakfast I'd like an egg sandwich with a hash brown or whatever. So I'm just making a batch of them and then I can pull them out of the oven and just chuck them, pull them out the freezer. For God's sake, Tracy, my brain's going to mush now. Pull them out the freezer and chuck them in the oven is what I meant to say. So I'm just sitting here casually at my table doing my sin free hash browns and in walks Mark for work with these. Look at these. What are they? Uh, I know they're sunflowers, but. They're dwarf sunflowers, so they only grow to like a couple of feet. I thought we had dwarf sunflowers. We do, but we've got the teddy bear ones. We don't have these ones, so we have to have. Alright, we have this. Well. So the teddy bear one's smaller? They're no, they're just like they look like little donuts instead of like a daisy, like these. So I how I much were they? These. these were two pound each at Morrison's. At Morrison's. So if you're wanting sunflowers, two pound each at Morrison's. Yeah, they've got a fantastic range of plants. I was really impressed. Best range I've seen in any supermarket during this uh, crisis. So yeah. Didn't I, yeah. Didn't I tell you that? Didn't I tell you that? Right. Um, there was so much that I wanted, but I didn't want to go crazy spending money on everything, so I just compromised and got these. <laughs> you got, okay. We also got uh, seeds, we're growing seeds for, uh, like Mark said, teddy bear sunflowers and the giant sunflowers. Yeah. So we're going to have a beautiful sunflower garden. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. Okay, here are the fruits of our labours from today. We've got all the breakfast burritos. Ali's put one in the fridge for his breakfast tomorrow. All the breakfast bagels, the broccoli soup, the hash browns, which I still got to put in the freezer. I've just taken the pizza bagels out to wrap them up. I'm just going to put them in, um, I'll show you. I'm just going to put them in these bags, you know, I'm just going to put two in each bag. Ali will have like either one with a salad or he'll just have two on their own. Maybe some fruit or something, but they're ready be packaged up and these are going to get blind frozen there's actually more but I can't, I've only got one tray free in my sorry one shelf free in my freezer at the minute to get things frozen so I can only do one tray at a time so I'm going to freeze these blind freeze these and then I've still got some more hash browns so how many hash browns did I get two four six eight ten twelve thirteen there oh that's unlucky maybe get about 20 altogether, which is fine by me. There's only two to three of us that eat them at any one time. 
But I'm going to leave this video here, so thank you so much for watching. Please like it if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.